In Balloon's Car Storm, cards cause gold to be played. Each round, your eco gets higher, which allows you to play even more expensive cards. This in turn incentivizes you to build your deck around a more balanced curve of gold cost. But screw that, I don't play by the rules. So I decided to win with the most expensive and cheapest deck in the game, because I have nothing better else to do with my life. So today, I'm showcasing the most expensive deck in Balloon's Car Storm. If you end up enjoying today's video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and comment down below what challenge you would like for me to do next. We got two decks we're gonna be playing today. Two expensive and two cheap. Basically, the most expensive deck you can use in the game, and then the cheapest deck you can have in the game. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Let's do too expensive. Who knows? Maybe, maybe we can actually do it. Oh god. Okay, this is a really bad map. He's definitely going aggro. We don't need you. We don't need you. Okay. I really don't know what to expect. Like, my cheapest card in my deck is 7 cost. You are in for a heap of surprises. Really? You want some? The cheapest card in my deck is 1 Jungle's Bounty. That's it. That's the cheapest card. Everything else is way too expensive. Toxic Balloon. Oh, that's pretty toxic. I'll have 10 to play next turn, so who knows. Oh, he's going straight damage with that. That's interesting. Hmm. I guess we'll go you. I can't really go any defensive towers. Like, I could have gone Maelstrom, but I was afraid it was going to take this out, potentially. It's 140. Okay. It's going to be hard. Yeah. We just have to get lucky on the maps and whatnot. Like, I have two Super Monkey Storms, so I could play one next turn and play the one after that, and then we should be fine for the most part, I think. Oh, only towers that say money. Okay, got you. Alrighty. He's gonna have to be more offensive. Maybe he has like... Okay, he, we're gonna heal up. Okay, 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 okay. There's a chance, there's a chance, there's a chance. Do I want to waste this? I think I should. Right? This only does 100 each. So that's still 80 damage. I, I die. This is 80. So yeah, 160. Yeah, no. 100. 200 this is probably another good choice I think I'm just gonna go I think I'm just gonna go super monkey storm oh no no, we had it. It's okay. We have this. Now we go Super Monkey. This is 160. 90 times 327. I think this is probably the best bet. Alrighty, please, we got this, <laughs> please. There's no way we win this on our first shot, right? There's no way.
He needs to use his powers. He didn't use his... Okay, I think Arcane Master is the best choice here. Now, if he has a pink balloon, we lose. But, like... I don't know how else we win. Yeah, almost all three, or almost all expensive cards are about three turn reload. He did that so he can get more? Wait, why didn't he just play balloons? What is he trying to do? Yeah, you could have been do that, I don't know. I mean, I guess he was sitting on it. He's just trying to doubly make sure that like, <laughs> that he's good. Which fair enough, fair enough, man. Yeah, he completely annihilated this. Is there any chance we can survive this with what we have? I don't think so. I still think this is the best choice, but there's a good chance that this will attack the Moab. This will be 120 damage, 15. So that's 45 plus 120. Yeah, I think we just lose, in all honesty. I think we lose. This is a good try. Good try, boys. Good try. Good attempt. It's okay. If, if I would have won that one, it would have been too fast for the YouTube video, you know? It would have been too fast for the YouTube video, so I needed I needed at least one more game to make it 10 minutes, you know? Okay, I probably should have kept it. You are in for a heap of surprises. Really? What's up? Sorry, did not ask. What's going on? We are trying to win with the most expensive, de uh, most expensive deck in the game. My hair is a different color. Wait, what do you mean? It's black. It's been black for a minute. Now that is a defense right there. He's going for a bolster balloon. Yo, hello. What's going on, my friend? What's going on? Hello, hello. Bolster at 200. Is there something better we could play? I guess we just go straight to the monkey, right? I sort of kind of want to play sharpshooter because this attacks more often. I know this will do more damage, but I want to attack more often. Unless he plays like Red Balloon Storm, then Probably shouldn't have done this. <laughs> or he's sitting on like a bunch of red balloons, you know? Who knows? He skipped. Wow. Yeah, he'll, he's gonna play everything now. There's nothing I could have done. Like, I probably just should have took this out as whenever I had the opportunity with Sir Monkey. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. He's going straight defense. Take that. Maybe I should just go ahead and use Super Monkey Storm? Possibly? I don't know, let's see. I think probably this is better. I probably should have used up all his ammo and then used his ammo. He's going straight defense. Okay, I think we actually have a good chance here. Especially since we drew into our Jungle's Bounty. 
I think we have a good chance here. What is he going? <coughs> what do y'all think he's going? I'm just gonna end. I'm not gonna play my embolden balloons. I know I have eight cards in hand, but I wanna play my my other cards instead. <laughs> Having zebras in this deck is so bad. Oh, he's going jungle's bounty. Okay. I see, I see, I see. I think I do have expert negotiator, so I can steal it. I can steal it. I need to use this. And then... Maybe I should just go ahead and play ZOMG. But like... I don't know if that's the best play. Probably. Oh yeah, I also have uh, this one as well to get rid of it. Grand Disappearance. Okay. Bedtime? Oh, it's over, my guy. I'm I'm taking yours away. How dare you bedtime mine? Yours is going bye-bye as well. Yours is going bye-bye. Oh, and he's going in, uh, in Bolden Balloon. Okay. So my Super Monkey will be up in time to handle that. This will be up in time to handle that. The sucky part about this is, is that I need to play a Zebra Balloon so I can activate my third ability. But I also want to have my Prince of Darkness on the field so I can get to healing. Oh, actually I don't! Beautiful! Beautiful! Thank you. This kills two birds with one stone. Wow. That is insane. That's actually insane. I'm going to go off on a limb here and not think he's going to get a quick and ready. So I'm just going to end my turn. I do have Super Monkey Storm. I should be able to play both of them next turn, if anything, but I don't see him winning at all. Um, honestly, probably just should have Super Monkey Storm, in all honesty, because. Yeah, I'll, I'll... It's kind of bad in this deck. This deck forces me to take the most expensive cards in the game. So I have to have Sharpshooter in my deck. <laughs> I have no choice but to take it. Yeah, we're just gonna... I want to remove his card so bad, but I should probably make this cheaper. Oh, any gas ceramic up. I have Super Monkey Storm, so I'm fine. And he's playing his triple dart. He's going all in. He's going all in. BTD6 Expert Guide, what's going on, my friend? Evil Sorcerer? I, I let a lot of people talk trash about Prince of Darkness, but I think he's actually pretty decent. Healing 30, healing all balloons on the field for 30. This is only good if you have like healthy, heavy set balloons. So like, of course, Moabs are gonna get the most benefit out of it. But like, let's go ahead and also do bouncing. I've never seen that attack animation. Has anybody else seen the attack animation of Bouncing Bullets before? Because I haven't. Did you ever see 2D and Balloons? Yeah, I've, I've watched 2D's Balloons Tower Defense, or Balloons Car Storm videos. Yeah, for sure. I wonder, oh, I missed out on what it said. Give me a second, Michael, I'm sorry. I wonder if this deck is going to be this game's mid ladder deck. Not at all. This deck is pretty garbage. I can confidently say that. I can confidently say this deck 
pretty bad. And the only reason why it's even doing anything right now is because my my <laughs> my opponent is just not able to keep up for the most part. Mid ladder decks are garbage. But who wants to run the most expensive deck? Like, do you see this shenanigans? Do you see how many large balloons I have on my field? This is so bad. The fact that I even ran a ZOMG in my deck is pretty funny. Okay, I think we are going to uh, run you. And uh, yeah, there really isn't much we need to do other than just like survive and keep going. This should finish the job right now. He's saving up as you can tell. He's not able to play much. Sir, there is no ladder. What are you talking about? She's talking about in the future. By the way, guys, if you don't know, there is a hidden MMR system in this game. Okay. And I guess right now, let's just go ahead and uh, play Zebras. Never thought I would say that. Oh, wait. We actually did win. Look at that. Boom. Second attempt. We did it. Second attempt. The most expensive deck in the game, and we won. Let's go, guys. Oh, let's go. GG's. Real quick, I want to show off the deck itself. So, we run 10 powers. 15 balloons, right? Just the most expensive. If I go back, we literally have all these cards highlighted. All of them are highlighted, all of them are maxed out. The only card we have at seven is the Druid Bounty, which luckily we got. <laughs> we have all the most expensive cards.